Good morning. Good morning. Lovely to see you. We're here bright and breezy again. Oh, it's only a few hours. Has the gin dispelled from our heads? Are we all, uh, what is it, hangover free? Hopefully you are. And um, hopefully you joined us last night on our virtual Knit and Tonic, where we had the wonderful Charlotte as well, beaming all the way from New Zealand. So, um, yeah, lovely to see you. And um, I think Robert's got something to play to cheer us up all again. So, oh, shall I have to you? Here we go. And we will now do. Yeah. <laughs> Morning! <laughs> yeah, I absolutely <laughs> love your playing the ukulele at the end. <laughs> you are? Claire was playing the ukulele at the end. Was she? I didn't even see that. I was too busy pom poming. <laughs> <laughs> right, good morning everybody. Welcome to Knit Wednesday's Knit and Matter. Um, so after the lovely feedback I've had for the musical interludes at the start of the last year, decided to just carry on doing it. So um, I was sat there yesterday afternoon, couldn't quite get the music I wanted to play and then I thought, oh, I know, let's do um, something from uh, the 60s and get us all in the mood this morning. So there we go. Aww. Thank you. That's fun. So uh, we only have three people in the room at the moment. So I sat there dancing my heart and karaokeing for kind of no reason. <laughs> the three beautiful people in the room. Well done. <laughs> Lovely to see you all. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going from top to bottom this morning. Good morning, Brigitte. Morning. <laughs> morning, Jackie. Morning. Morning, Linda Ellis. Morning. Um, morning, Safi. Morning. 
Oh, and a lady called Gabrielle has just joined. Morning, Gabrielle. Hello, Gabrielle. Uh, this is your first time, so welcome. Um, and do let us know whereabouts in the world you are. Um, yeah. So, Gabrielle, I'm Robert. Um, and the lovely two ladies on the screen will now introduce themselves as well. Hi, I'm Angela. Lovely to see you here. And this is... Claire, you're on, you're on mute. Are you on mute? <laughs> well, this is the lovely Claire. We can't hear Claire. Ah! Oh, there we go, you've come back. Yes. I'm looking up for the music and forgot to turn it back on again. Yeah, that's what kind of a day I'm having. <laughs> well, hello, I'm Claire, occasional co-host and sidekick. So good morning. <laughs> And um, and Gabrielle, uh, just so you're, you know, this is a one-way system. Um, you can see us three, but we can't see you, so don't worry about that. And there should be a chat box somewhere on your screen for you to type in and join along as we go through this um, morning of silliness. Um, yes. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, so um, we've got some comments in the box already. So uh, Brigitte says, morning, good to see you. Jackie says, morning, good to see you all again. Linda says, morning, good to see you. Brigitte says she's got that single in the cellar amongst her stuff from the 60s. Ooh. Safia says, morning, loving the music. Morning. Uh, and Safi, I love the pom-pom tree. We will show the pom-pom yes, tree. Beautiful. Pom -pom tree. Yes. Um, apparently, we all froze. Um, uh, we're all right now. Sorry, uh, everybody's had to log out again. Okay. Uh, Gabrielle is um, from Australia. Oh, wow. Gabrielle, um, please do let us know whereabouts in Australia you're from. Um, yeah. And also let us know kind of what's going on in your world at the moment. Um, so in the UK, oh, she's from Perth. Welcome. Oh, um, lovely to see you. So uh, we're in the UK um, and we started this because um, in the little village that we live in or town that we live in, Leighton Buzzard, um, there are lots of knitting and crochet groups and unfortunately they've all come to a stop, but we wanted to still see each other and talk to each other. So we set this up. Um, it's been going for three weeks. I think so. Tomorrow, I think, Angela. Oh! Yeah, so it's the beginning. Actually, no. No, it's four weeks tomorrow. Is it? Yeah, because I've been on holiday four weeks today. I was on holiday and we started it the Thursday or Friday before yeah. we went into full lockdown. You did, didn't we? Yeah, so. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. So, three, so, four weeks tomorrow will have been going. So, maybe that means a celebratory drink in the morning tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> no, careful, I've got to do a work video in the afternoon. So oh, I'm yeah, you have. Today. You're doing a cafe online. <laughs> Can I just say, Angela, I must have been channeling you this morning because I made this lovely cup of tea for myself. And what do I do for you when I make a cup of tea? Let you it go cold. Give me a little oh. saucer and leave the tea um, bag in. Leave the, oh, leave the tea bag in. Really? <laughs> and I hate it when I leave the tea bag in because I hate strong tea. Well, you'll never guess what I've done. Since I've been up here at my parents, they have decaf tea. So oh. I've been drinking decaf tea, but what I have found is my teeth are going white again. Oh. oh. So I'm sort of persevering with it because that means that I won't have to, um, because I was even considering having them whitened. Um, so I'm, I'm sort of continuing with it, and it's just like drinking water with an odd taste. It's no longer tea, but um, yeah. So I, so I'm now on decaf. So I think so like, must, hmm. must have less tannin in it. Yes, yes. I think there's a lot less, and when you leave your tea bag in all the time, I think that's even worse, isn't it? So uh, yeah. Um, so um, all change. We'll see if they go back to white white, and if so, that's it. I'm off caffeine. For no other reason than the teeth. Okay. <laughs> Either that. Um, you just take your teeth bag out a bit earlier. <laughs> yeah, that could be an option. <laughs> I gave up caffeine for Lent one year and Gary hated me by the end of it, so he won't ever let me do that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. 
Oh. Um, good morning, Judy. She's just joined. She says, back from Tesco's, wrinkly time, gin and wine stocks now healthier. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> well good. done. Really good, gin and wine. <laughs> <laughs> Gabrielle says there are lots of knitters there too. Uh, Gabrielle, um, please do share this if you enjoy it. There's also a replay. Um, so when you miss it, you get a link to watch it back later in the day so you can fill your breakfast, evening, lunch, whatever you want to do. But please do invite any friends that you have that are also knitters. Um, Marion has joined. Good morning, Marion. And then Brigitte, I know this is a typo and I'm so sorry, but I'm going to say it anyway. Brigitte has gone forward 10,000 years. Um, her daughter mar got married to an Aussie and they lived in Perth for five years and then came back to Leighton Buzzard in the year 19,998. <laughs> Let's hope oh, we finish the then. <laughs> lovely to have you here. Um, right, so as usual, folks, uh, we will be showing your uh, works in progress. Um, so I'm just going to pull up the Facebook page. Um, the Facebook page that we'd like you to use, please, is Goggle Frogs, and you can post directly into there. And if you're not already a member, I am ready and poised to accept new members. Gabrielle, please do find it if you want to send your pictures through. Um, and then if you've got anything that you want to talk about, any advice that you need, then please do um, feel free to put that in the chat box. We'll go through those. Um, and then I got sent a video yesterday, and I can't remember who it was by, so apologies in advance, but somebody sent me, I think it may have been Judy, sent me an idea. You know, we were talking about Russian joins last week. Yeah. Um, and we said we'll re replay that at some point, and we will do. Um, but she sent me a video called A Magic Knot. Oh, yeah. Is if you don't have a needle to do a Russian join, the technique is absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to try it. It's brilliant. It really is. So uh, we will play that at some point during the morning as well. Fabulous. I am... So, um, intrigued because i'm actually um joining yarn at the moment uh, and what am i in my noro um crochet blanket so i think that's going to be really good oh it will be amazing then um so <coughs> you're currently making pom-poms aren't you yeah pom-poms <laughs> we were having this debate before we started about how to make the pom-poms without a pom-pom maker um, <laughs> this is how I make them. So I found some mm. laminated paper um, and I've just cut it. So I'm, I'm making little pom poms that way. Sorry about the. Um, I'm just trying to get the. Yeah, hopefully that might be a little bit better. So that's how I make them. But Robert does them differently, don't you? Yeah. So what I do is I take a piece of cardboard and I wrap it around. And then as, as I slide it off, I pinch the middle and wrap the center of the pom-pom and then cut the top and the bottoms to open it up that was before i got pom -pom makers i know I, pom -pom i just don't have pom-pom makers up here no i know you don't i know you don't so never mind going old school we'll see what they're like so please do mention in the chat how you make pom-poms if you don't have pom-pom makers um because i'm feeling <laughs> very young even though there's not a lot of age difference between the three of us because <laughs> i've never made bonbons that way even when i was at school <laughs> this is the only way we could for some reason no one yeah. actually thought logically probably <laughs> oh dear yeah uh, and claire well, actually, what you to? i'm sorry i was gonna say what are you up to what am i up to uh more squares i'm afraid but I'm persevering until I get onto a more interesting shade. Okay, but it's getting darker, isn't it? Um, it yes, it will do. Um, it's just right at the moment. Hang on a sec. Oh, here's one. Here's one I just finished earlier. Ah. Oh, so no. we're getting darker, and I've got a yet another darker one to go around as well. So, and um, by which time you'll really see the effect very well. And are they all greys or are you going to finish in a black? I'm finishing in a black. I'm going fa I'm fading to black. Okay. And then will you join them in a black? Uh, probably, yes. Okay. Um, really gorgeous, 
Mm. I think that will look really effective. Yeah, well, that's sort of the plan. Um, border to be decided, depending on how much of what I've got left. Mm. You could always fade back in on the border. Could well, it depends what I've got left. Because you're gonna so, have, one that you've used in the middle is the one you're going to have the most of, isn't it? Uh, no, it's the one I've got the least of. Ah, really? Uh, yeah, I calculated for it. Ah, uh, okay. I knew I wasn't going to use much. Okay, so, um, uh, Tracy has joined. Good morning, Tracy. She morning, says she hello. Someone make pom poms on a fork before. Yeah, what? I've seen that. What? Wow. So I'm guessing you probably just wrap around and around and around and then go up through the middle. Up through, yeah. Cut either side. Yeah, you don't have to risk sliding it off then. And Brigitte says before she had a pom pom maker, she did them like Angela. Uh -huh. Yeah, me too. Brigitte, other than the needles that we use, we're so similar. I.e., me and my long needles. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, so this is, this is, I think this is the long way to making pom-poms, but they will get made. <laughs> this is the next thing for me to do. Yeah, so I remember as a kid, it used to take me weeks, or it felt like weeks doing it that way. Yeah. But I just had, oh, hang on, bear with me, phone. All right. Yeah, I'm now I'm now of the opinion, Robert, that maybe um, I should have chosen another way because this does seem rather a long way to make a pom pom. But yep. <laughs> never mind. The maybe do one that way and then do the others my way. I might do. I think I might you do. You are literally, Angela. It will take you minutes. It's like using a pom pom maker. <laughs> you just don't want to go through the middle or make sure it's even. Do you have to cut them into a circle? No. You don't? No, you just use a rectangular piece of cardboard. So I'm using yeah. my phone as an example. And you yeah. wrap it around and yeah. you keep doing it until you run out of yarn. And then as you slide it off, you pinch the middle so it holds it in place. Do your join around the middle and pull it tight and then cut the top and the bottom. Hmm. So Tracy says she made her last ones like Angela as she couldn't understand pom-pom Yeah, maker. I've got one that falls apart, apart a lot as well, but that's because I probably should have spent a bit more money on it. But yes. <laughs> well, Angela's got this really fancy one, one that we bought at Ali Pali one year. We can make 10. Oh, you can make 10 at a time. Yeah. And it's like a long thing, like, yeah. So you wrap it all around and then what you do is you tie it in so you've yes. got um, it's it's all like that and then you tie there and tie there and tie there and then i suppose it's a little bit like yeah. we were t we've been talking so much about steaking you just cut it in the middle and you have these perfect pom-poms um, yeah. and that is yeah. somewhere in my stash at home so <laughs> i will and and that's something that i can't say excuse me hubby can you please go and find um, a pom pom maker out of my stash and send it off. Yeah, he so, won't know uh, what he's looking for either, will he? If you well, say to him, it's a it's a metal. thin rectangular yeah. piece of metal with waves no. in it. He still wouldn't find it. <laughs> nah, yeah, bless him. He's doing very well. I, I still hope he doesn't try and tidy my stash. If he does, <laughs> it'll be perfectly neat. But it will all be colour coordinated rather than. Um, yarn coordinated so I'll mm. have Aaron and double knit together which you know we, we don't really do do we but I know it'll look pretty uh, but on the other odd occasions that he's tidied the cupboards out that's what he's done and they've looked really tidy but the yeah. things I use all the time are always right at the back so uh, now it doesn't tidy my cupboards but who knows that you know lockdown is a strange time is it so i could go home and all my cupboards could have been organized that's what i'm doing today is if it I can, if i can get my arse in gear i'm going downstairs to sort out the kitchen cupboards today oh wow i'm in mean, 15 years of being in the house 
<laughs> Tracy says, yes, that probably explains mine too, because it fell apart, her pom-pom maker. Brigitte says her first and only pom-pom maker are on the her first and only pom pom made on the prim pom pom maker. I know exactly turned why out that to look is. Like a rugby ball. Okay. Yes, I do. It's because if I you look know. the way Angela's doing it as well, the outside wraps are longer than the inside wraps. So um, if you're not, it can elongate. So you just need to give it a trim just to make it circular again. And then Brigitte says, yeah. yes, she would stab herself with Angela's long needles. <laughs> and for anyone who doesn't and, know. Angela um, is a lethal weapon with her long needles. Yeah, so I always have the the, the nice long 40 centimetre one and I always have them underneath my arm. So most people knit like this, but I knit like Fair enough. Whatever works. Yeah. Yeah, and don't even, you know, I keep trying to do the four needles, which is a little bit why I'm, I I haven't really done socks. I did a beautiful hat once, um, but four needles, sorry, five needles, the DPNs, I, I just don't find overly comfortable. Um, so I will give her, um, socks a go at some point, but um, I think I need to try bamboo rather yeah. than metal to see loop. if that's any better for me. I'm sure I did magic. Um, I did start with magic loop, and oh. I ended up on DPNs anyway with the hat. So I don't quite know how. Yeah, it wasn't. It's just Fair me. Enough. Just me. But, yeah. Right. I, I'm in a bit of a knot. Tracy would like to have a bet on the oldest out of date thing I find in my cupboard. She said she did hers and found something for 2007. I moved in in 2005, so I know the oldest thing will probably be 2003, 2004 from our old house. Um, and so that will be interesting. Right, uh, so are we doing the uh, bet on this? <laughs> yeah, please do put in the comments what you think the oldest thing I'm going to find is. Uh, does it have to be proper food or do spices count as well? I don't know. Well, the thing is, is food-wise, mine tends to circulate my cupboards every now and then because I have to sort out my cupboards every year or two because they're very high up and things get shoved in the back and otherwise I'll never find it. Um, however, I've got things like bay leaves that are several decades, well, certainly centuries old, but that's only because they, they're dried anyway and are perfectly fine and usable now. So that's one of the so every now I've been through my cupboards. I go through my cupboards yeah. about every year, eighteen months or so. But there are some things I don't chuck out because they're still usable. So there you go. So Angela's gone for nineteen ninety nine, and if I do find something in my cupboard that went out of date in nineteen ninety nine, then I'm I will keep it as a souvenir of one of the first things that I bought to put in a cupboard with Gary. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Uh, Gabrielle's saying curry powder. Um, I don't think I've even got any. I don't make curry. I use jars. Jars. <laughs> when I do no, curry. It's not. Sorry, I know that's really bad. Um, <laughs> Marion's gone for 2004. <laughs> well, you see, the one thing that um, I came home from work one day and Alan had tidied out the cupboards. And there was this big bag full mm. of stuff that was being thrown out. And I said, you can't throw out vinegar. It's a preserve. Said, well, it's about five years out of date. No. Vinegar never goes out of date. Just like real honey can be 80 years old and it will still be perfect. The reason why honey goes foul is because they mm. mix pure natural honey with sugar. And that's why it crystallizes. So if you have pure honey, even 80 years later, it will never crystallize. So I was there with my head in this big bag, taking everything out that had vinegar in it and stuff like that. So um, in the end, a tiny bag went to the bin <laughs> because a lot of yeah. it was, uh, 
if it's preservative yeah and if it's preserved then it should be okay so um yeah Vinegar what about shampoo. when it's been opened though depends i know it's fine vinegar and honey will be fine if it, if they're pure but the the cheaper stuff not the expensive yeah, use stuff your, yes um, use your initiative i think on those ones yeah but it's all right robert you're allowed to throw them out because i know you want to you're very much like alan <laughs> i think it depends on what it is for me whereas gary's very regimented of it's got a date on it that's the date yeah. you've got to use it by can't use it past it yeah oh oops did you bake anyway you were thinking of baking weren't you robert i've got to clear out the cupboard first all right okay so well, i'll I'm... do that and then see what i've got and then if i haven't got what i need i'll add it to the shopping list for when i next go shopping oh right I've done some baking well, for the weekend um i was thinking as well because yesterday i mentioned if yeah. you've got out of date self-raising flour yeah. then you can um just add a uh -huh. little bit more um baking powder like quarter of a teaspoon half a teaspoon but if you don't want to do that then mm. and if you've got some yogurt some natural yogurt or even if it's flavored it doesn't really matter if you have apple cider vinegar which is the natural organic stuff with sludge in the bottom of the thing if you put a table a, a teaspoon of that in with some yogurt it starts to curdle and bubble and that's what you use in vegan cooking to give it lift and light so um you can always rather than putting in milk if you put in milk to your recipe you can put a little bit of yogurt that's been curdled with apple cider vinegar and that will Very help good. rise as well oh, so because okay. we, we all have yogurt that's going out of date and actually for cooking as long as it's not rancid uh, but a few days past the sell by when you think I wouldn't um, eat that, it's actually very, very good um, because of the fermentation very in um, cooking, in baking. Excellent. So, just a little tip for you there. Brigitte says, oh, um, Go on, up you. Tracy says, <laughs> I was going to say, Tracy says apparently peanut butter doesn't go out of date either. I I would be very yeah. <laughs> I've I've kept some for quite an age. Yeah. And apart from having to mix it up because it kept separating, um, it was perfectly fine. Yeah. Oh. Well, well, I don't have any added sugar, then, and, those... and it, it is the pure things. butter. There's nothing really in it to go off. Yeah. Um. There's there's nothing no. in it really that bacteria like eating which is why you do preserve things in sugar and oil mm, and vinegar fabulous mm. perfect oh we're on on the um, black currant jam and and actually um brigitte i hope i pronounced this right but schwarzfelder schwarzfelder honey is that right black forest honey we've we've got some black forest honey um it's really really dark honey and uh that's really nice i've been having some of that on my toast Brilliant. so yeah brigitte says i don't throw anything out if it hasn't got a funny color or stinks Fair enough. Since living in England, I have never eaten my favourite German mustard, which I brought over while it was in date. I am still alive. Well, mustard actually is another preserve. Totally fine. Yeah. Totally fine. Nothing nothing can totally usually yeah. live or crystallise in the vinegar. No. So it's, um, mm. it's really... Good. Marion might make cheese scones later. Jolly good. And um, Brigitte Ooh, says you pronounced it fabulous. Oh, goody. Because I do remember going to um, Birchett's Garden, and I don't even know how to pronounce that, but uh, when when I say we went into a cafe there and had Schwarzfelder Kirschtorte, which is the Black Forest Gatto, 
it was like nothing nothing i had ever tasted in this country it is so light honestly at some point i'm going to go back there you know i don't care i'm eating the gluten because i'm having one of those things they're about this big and honestly there's white chocolate layers there's kirsch layers there's cream layers there's um black cherry layers there's chocolate layers it's honestly unbelievable so we are going to go back there and go into all these tiny little traditional hundred year old cafes and eat them again at some point in my life so there is nowhere else to eat that than over there <laughs> so yeah so it's 10 years since i've been there as well so we will start yeah. we will all start traveling again this one day great. won't we will we be able to travel again so I, yeah so has anybody ordered any um new wool or yarn for any interesting projects mine hasn't arrived yet but anyone ordered anything yours was only posted yesterday be patient no this is me excited i'm i'm just excited like what day is it going to arrive what a day i'm really really excited <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't pay Sheila to put it on like a 24 hour express. <laughs> no, it was like, it's okay because I've got, I've got a little bit of other stuff to do. Um, I've got some of my blanket to do, my Gansey blanket. I'll show you a little bit of that um, later. So I'm going to have a few hours doing that um, in, in the front living room later. Um, so i have got a few days i thought if it's here by friday then that will be fine but i'm really looking forward to it and i i have invested in um a shade of gray because we're we're so into gray and it's underrated um color so i've ordered it's not quite gray because pewter was out of stock but i've got um yes. peacock which is a bluish gray and thought that'll look lovely with um any black trousers and stuff so i can't wait to start that wow my first ever crocheted cardigan <clears throat> fabulous oh sorry composing myself. so let's look huh Oh, Brigitte says, tried to order online from the Spotted Sheep this morning, couldn't make it work. Sheila's going to be back in there on Friday. She's going in on Tuesdays and Fridays. So um, send her an email um, and your number, Brigitte, and she will ring you. And by the time, uh, they, I mean, by I sent an email and within 20 minutes, they'd said, this is in stock, this isn't, this is what we can do for you um and it was all ready all ready to go for me uh, by the time we actually spoke so um yeah they'll send out yeah. anything Marian, that you want good marion said her brilliant. order was posted out on saturday so any day now so i don't know where from but i i hope it delight when it arrives and gabrielle has an order or had an order from Bendingo Wool Mills in Victoria. It came, so it's wool to make a winter jumper. Oh, good. Oh, lovely. Oh. Bendigo. We've got to look at this. We've got to look at this because this is this is a wool so shop that we're not familiar education. with. So, yeah. Um, I'll have a look. Ben, yeah. is this Bendigo Woolly Woolen Mills? Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, 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 you're going to love this. Hang on a minute. Oops. So Gabrielle says, oh, they have cotton for breast cancer too, them. and they are a large mill in Victoria State. 
Sorry, am I sharing my later. screen properly now? You are sharing the screen. Yeah. That's all right. Um, I've stopped sharing. I don't know what I did. I pressed something else. I'll do it again. So I don't. Ooh, can you yeah, see that I now? Know. Oh. How we? Love that yellow. It is amazing isn't it i i be i love the cyclamen on the left hand side that oh. looks delicious oh look at those look at these blue eight plies not wow. seen those 100 wool hand washable oh ah and they do independent designer pattern should oh, we have a we quick ought. click on this and see what they've got Yes. Uh, oh, I don't quite. Oh, I need to log in to that. No, it's log into Instagram. No, click the, oh. the click what? Uh, it appears there on and? Instagram. Yeah, I'm not on. Um, I'm not linked to Instagram on this. I know it sounds well, strange, but I haven't sorted stuff out so patterns let's have a look at patterns on here this is easier so i'm going to find loads of things that i love now that's mm. nice i love that that around there beautiful 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 oh Guard stitch jacket, that would be nice, wouldn't it? And I love this yellow oversized. That's very much like, um, Gabrielle, we have um, a designer in the UK. Um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue then. Erica Knight. And she did um, a season, I think it was last year, last summer, uh, which were very oversized. Um, very much like that. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh. That wide stripe blanket as well. I shall have a look at this later. Oh, some little cuties. I, I'm, I'm definitely going to be having a look at this later. Uh, so they've got some free patterns. They've got some um, wool and yarn. Let's have a look and see what's on here. So we've seen some of them, haven't we? Um, Gabrielle says the merino is fabulous. <sighs> oh... So we've got two ply um, in those cones, three ply, five ply, 12 ply. Ah, so in Australia, do you, um, in the UK, we buy things based on lace, fingering, um, double knit, sock and on. Yeah. Um, and this looks as if you buy based on the ply. Um, is that right, Gabrielle? Um, Oh, I tell you what, I love that gold. That gold and that per those three shades there, mm. the blue, the gold and the purple are beautiful. Which actually, to buy on the ply, if you think uh. about it, it makes much more sense. Because ours are just assorted names it for does, different it? plies. Um, however, the thickness yeah. is not always consistent between producers. No. They are, but they look to have extremely some pretty, stunning, very. And I am just just going to have a click on this one because this oh. bloom eight ply. <gasps> oh wow! That is delicious. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you so much, Gabrielle. This is just beautiful wool. So bloom and ply. Uh, sorry, bloom eight ply. Uh, I think it's something that I may be investing in. So let's wait for, so hopefully you enjoyed that little tour of um, some beautiful wool. <laughs> 
from Australia. I think there may be a few little orders going in there once all of yes. our um, shipping's lifted. So eight plus is the equivalent of double knit. Yeah. But I just then, think those colours are out of this world. Ten pliers an hour and twelve pliers are chunky. Oh. I love that. Two, two pliers lace weight. See, much more logical, makes much more sense. Right. Yeah. Because then we have the added issue, don't we, that we then are so close to America that we then start having this worsted weight that is neither oh. double knit nor iron nor oh, well. sock there nor we go. anything. So, so Marion posted all oh, look at that three ply and then the next comment is what's the exchange rate at the moment evelyn's joined morning evelyn she needs three good morning skills. can she order online from our favorite wall shop um you're better off to drop her an email on for, uh drop her an email and then she'll post out on friday for you which is when she's next in yeah um uh helen says morning sorry to be late morning helen don't worry about being late no apologies needed no. looking at out session um yeah marion might marion says might be an idea to do bulk shipping might work out a bit cheaper to do a bulk order well at some point yes probably not cheaper. right at the moment and then no. gabrielle says they may oh. not have all the stock but we'll get it for you i'm so thank you so much for sharing that because uh, yeah. we it what's lovely about this is we we've seen patterns from people from the philippines that they've designed uh people from australia people from all over and it's um mm. just getting different ideas um but i have not seen anything like that um that eight ply those shades those colors that's gorgeous but it really reminds me if we got that um perth you know the oh, perth yeah wool i got you robert that ball yes. of wool. um it, they just have a different way i think of blending the colors to what we're used to so that oh i love it absolutely love it so uh yeah definitely going to be investing in some of that as well as a little bit yeah. more narrow at some um, point in my life safia says is the worst the darren yeah i thought it was too but um I haven't been at this lot. Sport weight is the odd one that's in between yeah. four ply and double net. Sorry, that's it. It's the, the it's the sport weight, and then you have the oh, worsted, God. and you have a light worsted as well. And I can never quite work out whether the light worsted is double net or a bit thicker. And you sort of have to just yeah take pot look when it arrives. It isn't what they they call but, fingering um, what we but, call um, lace weight aren't they roughly the same or yeah i'm easily yes, confused yes they are yeah yeah oh the wonders of wool from around the world and last night with claire she's just uh well her and her husband Charlotte. just emigrated to new zealand um no she hasn't Charlotte, what? <laughs> sorry, Claire's there. <laughs> Charlotte, sorry, I meant to say Charlotte. Sorry, not Claire. Um, she doesn't even know where her local yarn yeah. shop is yet because they're on lockdown. <laughs> She's just moved somewhere and uh, has the tiniest amount of wool. So bless her. So uh, we've probably got some really nice whips. Have we had any whips through, Robert? to share um only one at the moment well can we share some from the past have we got any from the past uh yep just give me one second that's all right so i am a, a pom-pom making and this is i never realized oh, that old what hard work way was a nightmare. Was, or... that's why they invented the gadgets um <laughs> helen says does anybody watch the wonderful <laughs> world of crafting channel five um wednesday um is that the repeat of the last series i've got it recorded but i think it's the repeat of the last series and if it is yes we watched it and i thoroughly enjoyed it 
Is that with no. um, oh, Kirsty oh, Olsen? No, I don't think it is. It's a different series. No. What they were trying to do is ah. um, help small crafters who were trying to turn into a business um, actually make that leap. Um, I think with regard to some oh. of the crafters, they were a little bit unrealistic. Um, and with some of the, uh, they, you know, they were perhaps encouraging them in directions that maybe they shouldn't quite have leapt. Some of them were probably doing, a, some of the crafters were doing a reasonable job of, of being in business, but I think just needed a confidence boost. But it was really nice. Oh, that was the one with John in it. John the Quilter. Right, this most recent episode, if it's the one with right. Kath Fassett's house, there's a chap on it who's selling quilting patterns and things. He actually runs a shop and owns a um, long arm quilter and he runs out or, or, um, operates out of Tring. So he is actually based about 10 miles down the road. All right. Um, he had an awful lot to say about the editing of that program. So if anybody actually watched it, don't think badly of the guy. Um, and, but it's well worth finding his um, Facebook page and his Facebook groups. Because he's, um, really, he's a really, really nice bloke. Yeah, but yeah. we'll do. I'll look that out. Once we have broadband installed on Friday, because I still do not have broadband in this part of the world, but uh, when I arrived after a couple of days, we put in the order because oh, okay. I thought I may be held up here for a little while. Excellent. Um, so broadband That's should exciting. be working on Friday. Well, I know, I know. Angela. Yeah? I have an idea for you. What's that? Find one of your long, thin needles. Yeah. Okay. The bit of yarn that you have around your needle that you're threading through. Yeah. Take it out of the needle, tie it at the top of the tip, not the tip of the needle, the other end of your knitting needle. Now wrap the yarn around your knitting needle up and down quite evenly. And then that way, instead of having to yank the yarn through the hole, you can just pull the needle in and out and unravel it as you need it. Thank you. <laughs> All I can see on the screen is you doing this. <laughs> No, you're, you're right. Um, we used to have a slightly bigger hole in the middle and wrap the bundle in, wrap the yarn into a little bundle and undo it that way rather than just pulling it through by the yard. Yeah. I'm just going to put up um, John the Quilting Chap's website. Excuse my dismal grammar. Um, and he's got a blog on there as well. So... Yeah, um, if if you like the program, go check him out. Nice fella. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, Claire, have you seen that he's doing yeah. a virtual retreat? I've got enough on without starting new projects. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he does have fabric. He opens the shop. I, I mean, I popped down there once. I think it was back in October um, during half term. Ingenious idea, Robert. Thank you. That's all right. 
You're welcome. This is, this is why I don't do. I haven't done a pom pom since I was tiny. There has been no need for me to do a pom pom. So um, probably forty years later, forty odd years later, and I'm now doing my next pom pom. Right. Uh, so pictures. This is what came in from Judy yesterday. Paula's scarfette, I think that is. I like uh, that. And she's using stash. She used stash to do. And I like the little brooch. That is well. beautiful, isn't it? I think yeah. it's an advancement yeah. from the marple scarf. Like just, yeah. just a, a change from um, yeah. that one to that. So, yes, I Likewise. definitely need to get that pattern. Mm. I love the fact that it's got this little um, slit built into it to pull it through on. Yeah. So that you don't have, if you haven't got a brooch, you don't have to. Well, yeah. It's not a brooch, is it? It's a shoe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they are beautiful, though. And it's amazing how just with that brooch pin sets it off so differently to as it is there um so yeah and i my mum actually found some um that i bought her and they're lovely right. like in red reds and golds um and i'm just thinking um that would look fantastic with something like that so i'm definitely going to um knit that and get some beautiful wool to do it with mm. i wonder if that's a guild pattern i'm not too sure but I'm just wondering, I could probably do it with that, couldn't I? That's that Peruvian that I've got, um, non-mule, that something happiness. So I know you can't see the colours very well. Um, what well, Ravelry link nice incoming? In Hold on. Free pattern on Ravelry. Yay. Yep. Free. Oh, wow. That's good. Thank you. That is beautiful work, Judy. Um, really lovely. Let me just what show that? you the pictures that are on Ravelry. What we found. Oh, it's of the it's of the scarf. Yeah. It's a nice colour. Oh, yes. I love the cable. I didn't realise there was cable Running in there. Running through the middle. Oh wow. Beautiful. Loving that. Oh, I love that brooch pin. That's gorgeous. I think we might be looking for beautiful um, web pages that have great little brooches I think we might. and pins. Mm. Wouldn't there be yeah. a lovely Christmas presents for people, though? That and a little um yeah you know what we could have, we could all have christmas shopping done and i know people don't like that word christmas is done Good by day. about june i won't she says there's no cable in hers and she's not to work well yours looks beautiful anyway it judy. does judy it looks lovely yeah. Marion's just had a random message saying she can expect a delivery between two minutes past nine tonight and two minutes past one. Yeah, that'd be right. It depends on who it's from. I mean, not as late as nine, but we. <laughs> I don't know. One was fairly late recently. Um, they they are working late to get the job done at the moment. Yeah, so it's DHL. I would imagine Marion. They've had to go to twenty four hours to cope with the volume of stuff that's being churned out at the moment as people can't go to shops yeah so. <clears throat> oh for john lewis well it's their delivery partner isn't it, it it's whoever they use to deliver yeah so don't marion why didn't you do click and collect she can't collect she can't she can't, she can't. 
someone could have picked it up for her. Well, I know, but you know, Marion. Marion is very, very independent. <laughs> Fine. Oh. But in future, Marion, just let somebody know, and I'm sure there's somebody who will be able to pick it up in the next few days for you. Right. Um, the Magic Knot video is 1 minute and 47 seconds. Uh, Brigitte says, has to go and sort a box from Stratton's that's just arrived. Yummy, get, yummy stuff again. So bye for now. See you tomorrow. Bye, Brigitte. Bye. Um, about, Brigitte, I'm about to play the Magic Knot video, and I know you like your Russian join, but it's an alternative when you haven't got a needle to hand. Both of you are talking with your mics turned off. <laughs> Brilliant. So, yeah, I thought that was really good. So thank you, Judy, for sending that to me. Um, if anybody else has any hints, tips, or advice that they're looking for, um, please just put it on Google Frogs or send me an email or drop it in the chat box now before we go for the day. And I will do some research this afternoon and find it for tomorrow or, f or we're not on Friday. So tomorrow or Saturday. Mm. Um, and just a reminder for Saturday, we are um, going to be doing the online uh, knitting show at the same time as Goggle Frogs. Um, so Angela and Claire are going to co-host and I will be on camera. Um, but I will be using my laptop to keep an eye out for all the bargains for you. Um, and I will be watching from my iPad over there. So I will be in the room, but probably won't join you for knitting. But I will let you know if I see any bargains or let you know if there's any videos or what the plan is for the day. Still very, very, very little information. So I guess they're working on it. Um, so hopefully we might have some more information tomorrow. Uh, or if it comes out on Friday, then I'll post it on the Google Frogs Facebook page ready for you. Super perfect uh yes jackie of course i can do that for you i will do that right now actually if i can remember how to do it um the so ladies what are you up uh, to the rest well, of the day knitting <laughs> well i'm going to finish the pom-poms but knitting yeah have you got work for school? Yeah, I'm setting up the next four weeks' work online. Claire? Yeah. Ah. Oh. And what are you doing, Robert? Kitchen cupboards. Oh, of course, yes. Kitchen cupboards, yes. Oh. Okay. Right, so Jackie, I found the link. I'm going to post it on there now for you. Fabulous. And Gabrielle, please just um, find the Goggle Frogs Facebook um, group and uh, put in a request to join. We'll, we'll accept that straight away. And then any links or anything that we talk about, you can um, get access to as well. Um, and if there's anybody else that you think would like to just join up and have a chat, <laughs> Bit of inspiration please let us know and um yeah we're here because we love our knitting community don't we we, we just love everything crafty um crochet sewing claire does lots of showing and again if we've got any questions um that's what we can um share and get answers on super and thank you for sharing that beautiful bendy, yes thanks for that. Go woolen mills I was lovely to look at new things. Yeah. Shall I post I'm, that in the Shall I post oh, that in yeah. Facebook as well? Yes, please do. Please do. Fabulous. Right. I'll post it in there as well. Oh, we didn't see we didn't I know we're overrunning, but we didn't show no. Safia's um pom pom tree. Um, can you remember we where that it is? Tomorrow? Huh? No, no, it's fine. I'll find it now. Can you remember where it is? Is it on? It uh, is Gold on. Or is it in? I believe so. And 
but so sorry if we forget to to um you know post certain things or, or share certain things but we will oh, remember um or give just remind us yeah. Uh, has Daphne said where it is yet? Um, I'll show you where it was. I think you can put it in um, the TV. Um, it was. She sent a oh, she sent a message to Angela and Robert Web TV, so that's my way of being there. Okay, that's fine. I'm on there now. Let me just have a quick look. And Safi will will need to send you an invite or or uh, just ask to join Goggle Frogs Face Group Face Facebook Group. Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't get those words out then. Yeah, it's on Angela and Robert Web TV. And it just means it's different settings um, and the, the groups are actually more uh, easier to share and comment, whereas a page is a little bit more structured. Um, so it, it's great because but it's all information that we want to share rather than what the community wants to share. So that's why we wanted the group. And here we oh, are. Just look at those gorgeous pom-poms. Oh, what fun. Doesn't it just make you smile? And Safi's... Mm. I know. She said for people walking past and the children walking past. And she's even put up a wind chime as well, which I think is gorgeous. So we'll keep showing that as well. So... Oh, well, we are over. We're 11.05 today. Sorry, peeps. So it's been lovely. I have oh, yeah. learned so much about pom pom making. Um, apparently, you can make them on a fork on an iPhone <laughs> and um, on the old old school stuff that I'm working on at the moment, yeah. but I'm realizing how long they take. Um, and it's much better to do it like this with a knit, long knitting needle. So thanks for those tips. Um, I think so we're... with that, are we nearly ready oh. to sign off? Or mm -hmm. I think Robert's doing something. Are you? Okay. Oh, it's all right, it's fine. I'm doing the link for um, Judy Scarf. That's fine. Don't oh, worry. brilliant, thank you. That's gorgeous. Wow. And and what we'll do is we'll we'll share, you know, it there's some amazing free patterns, there's some beautiful um paid patterns as well. So whichever you, you want, let's just share them. Um because Ravelry is such a big resource, you can never find these things if you look, um, unless somebody shares the link. Brilliant. So um yeah. Thank you ever so much. Right then, ladies. Yep. So have a lovely day, whatever you're up to. And um, you. see you again this time tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.